Hey guys, I just got here to Disney's Hollywood Studios. It's been a minute since I've been over here on the vlog. This is the park, I think I had mentioned this kind of recently, but this is a park that I love to come to. I feel like it's the one I come to the most off camera just to walk around and like spend time hanging out with friends. And that's basically what's happening tonight. But tonight, you guys are along for the ride. I'm documenting this evening. It is a beautiful night tonight too. The weather is just perfect. It feels so good. Look at those Hollywood Studios palm trees. Now actually, when I'm filming this video, I'm in the process of editing my apartment tour from when I lived at my very first Florida apartment, the one that I just moved out of. And I mentioned in that, I kind of go into where my apartment was located, but Hollywood Studios was actually like the closest park proximity wise, like from where I was at. So this was always like just the easy popover park. Like, you know, me and my friends would just come here, walk around, you know, just hang out, enjoy being here. This park and Epcot are ones that it's like, you could come to and not even ride anything. And it's just like, you enjoy walking around. It's the local lifestyle, you know, just hanging out. I really don't know what our agenda is for this evening. This is definitely gonna be like a fun, just kind of hang out night. Like I said, I'm meeting up with um, actually a group of friends tonight. A few of them are gonna be new friends to me. I haven't met them before. They are actually in town visiting, so they're on their Walt Disney World vacation. So I have a feeling we're gonna do, you know, rides and all the classic Hollywood studio stuff in addition to hanging out because, you know, we have to do it. They're on vacation. <laughs> have to give them a proper Hollywood Studios experience. But yeah, it's just like coming in here, even the cast members were all going, oh my goodness, it's such a nice night. Like the weather is gorgeous tonight. You just want to be outside and walk around. Hi. Ah, and now hi, Monarchs, to introduce you, here in Del Royo Historians. Far, causing her to accidentally throw ice all over the ballroom. Yeah, they called her a witch and a sorcerer. She even impaled someone. <sighs> no, that did not happen. There's <laughs> 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 people cheering for her. <laughs> Come on, get it. Elsa yet. We don't want to miss the Arendelle Festival. Not that I remember. Oh, I'm sure we remember seeing the Queen of Arendelle, right, Eric? Yeah. Just do me a favor and keep an eye out for her. Get yeah, ready, you, Mr. Reindeer King. Open oh. it. Not a word. <laughs> and I sell ice. Supply, demand. More like supply and supply. <laughs> you see my problem? I don't care. <laughs> I'm to save my business. Come on, man! I mean, I know the truth, she knows the truth, you know who else knows the truth? Everybody! I have to get back to Anna. No, I don't know. And find Elsa. Well, let's hear for Chris out, everybody. <laughs> watched Frozen Ever After. That show is so cute. It's like the narrators, they make it. Like they just add the little comedy bits in it. They had a couple good like funny one-liners. Now it is dark 
I think we're gonna head and go see Fantasmic. We're gonna watch Fantasmic, and I got a Mickey Premium bar. I haven't had one of these in the parks in a while. The last time I had one was when we did the um, DVC After Hours, and we got like all of the Mickey Premium bars. And I just went up there, and it was six bucks, and I was like, oh. <gasps> but it'll be worth it, hopefully. <laughs> the iconic Fantasmic waves happening. I can still remember being here in kindergarten and the first time I learned what the wave was, was here at Fantasmic. I caught it. So we just got out of Fantasmic and now we are going to go ride the Tower of Terror. The Hollywood Tower of Terror. An appropriate ride for Hollywood Studios. This queue is always amazing, we were just saying. It doesn't seem like a five star resort. Some cobwebs, there's a lot of cobwebs and the power goes out. Row by row, so take a quick second, look down, see what number you're on. Memorize that number because I will call it in again one by one. guests. For your safety once on board, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened. Here we go. This darkest corner of the imagination in the Tower of Terror. Here we go! Ah! 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 That was so cool. That was one of the more intense ones that I've had. More intense sequences. <laughs> we were doing, yeah, a lot of shaking. Oh, this ride needs to be appreciated for, look at this. Like this was with the old photo pass area and it's the, Hello, I am now back at home. So this is a couple days later. I ended up, um, not finishing the vlog, I realized we had such a fun night at Hollywood Studios when we got out of Tower of Terror. The park was then shut down, so you know, we got to make our way out of Hollywood Studios. That's always fun, like closing down a park. Had a good night, got to meet some new friends that night. It was a very nice time. The next, well, not the next day, it was a few days later. 
I went over to Animal Kingdom. And so I'm gonna go ahead and tack this footage on to this video because I know it's a bit of a shorter vlog, but I talk about in these next couple clips from Animal Kingdom, the fact that there was a new baby born at Animal Kingdom, baby Cora. She is one of the elephants now at Animal Kingdom. She's only two months old. And this week she was released out onto the savannah with her mom and she just looks so precious. I've seen videos of her and I went to Animal Kingdom to try to find her. Now you're gonna see in the clips here, it was unsuccessful. She was already taken in for the night by the time I got over to Animal Kingdom but we still had a nice little afternoon. And even though the safari mission was unsuccessful because we didn't see baby Cora, I would say it was still very much a success because you'll see here, this was one of the best safaris that I had had in a while. Like I had not had a safari that was this, um, that the animals were this active. That was good at least that we didn't get to see the baby, but we got to see a lot of cute animals. And it just gives me a reason that I have to go back to Animal Kingdom. But yeah, go ahead and enjoy these clips from Animal Kingdom. Hey guys, today is an exciting day here at Disney's Animal Kingdom Park. Today, this is actually really funny, we were planning to come over here today to film a specific video. We've been wanting to, me and my friend have wanted to film a video in Dinoland USA all about the land closing. We've been wanting to do that for a while now, but literally just this morning, I just saw this on the local news, they had a brand new baby elephant just debut on the savannah here at Animal Kingdom. So. That now takes priority over anything else. You know, if we have a baby animal, that is where we're gonna be. So we have just got here into Animal Kingdom. And look, we're looking at these guys. It's really cool, like they're white, but a couple of them are actually pink. So I guess they eat, just like the flamingos, they say the flamingos eat shrimp and it turns their feathers pink. Are you guys eating shrimp? This is the first thing that we're gonna do. It's only 20 minutes for safari. So this is the best way to see the baby elephant because she's on the savanna that you can view from the safari. So this is the main reason that we came here today. I am so excited. We waited to get this side, the left hand side. No, yeah, left hand side. We waited to get the left hand side because this is where the baby's at. Rhinos are pretty rare to see. There's only around 5,000 of them left alive in the world today. Now their only threat comes from humans. Highly poached for their horns. Their horns, though, they're just made of keratin. The same thing our hair and fingernails are made from. Is. And the light tan antelopes up ahead are greater kudu. The ones we see here are female oh, males. Oh, this guy's a great Males are the second Hi. tallest antelope as well. That They'll was stand cool. on average 55 inches <laughs> tall at the top. So they're one of the smallest species. birds are just chilling. Okay. Average wingspan of about eight feet wide, which is about the width of the canopy above your head. Named for the light pink spot that you can see on the using their oh, he's active. Look, he's swimming. <gasps> he just went under over here. Back legs float behind them. Oh my gosh, wait, he's right here. Oh, of course. When I put the camera on, he went under. A guy came up right here. Do it again, do it again. I seriously just missed that. animals because they will come on land to feed. They're herbivores. They'll roam on land every night feeding grasses. I just love the Disney duck in the water as well. Oh, there's another hippo. The hippos are active right now. Thank you. Now crocodile on average 15 feet from 500 to 750 pounds. Main diet consisting of fish. Now they may kind of look like your the average dogs are active but they too. are the number one hunter of mammals in Africa. They have an 80 to 90 percent success rate on their hunts. They have incredible stamina. all at one time. They're going to take short three to five minute naps throughout their day. Okay, we're 
going into elephant territory. Just kind of scanning uh, all around, see if I can find anything, see anything. I haven't really seen anything for a few moments. Oh no. Hopefully she didn't go backstage. For those, some animals out here are considered crepuscular, uh, meaning they are most active in early morning and late evening hours, like around dusk and dawn. Uh, so we kind of watch through into the bushes to see if there's any hiding there throughout the day. A lot of the antelopes out here are considered crepuscular. Uh, oh, there's a very large elephant far to our left hand side in the distance. Oh, there we go. That's the big bull male here in our reserve. Uh, fully grown. Uh, the big males. Uh, they're the largest land mammals. They can weigh up to 15,000. I guess the males. baby went to bed for the day. We do have greater flamingos here. The largest and quite the size. Oh, and we can extremely so graceful close. when they run. They can gallop like horses do. Uh, which they can actually get Hi, all four feet up off oh the ground at one time. I've never been this uh, close to one. They can run up to 35 miles an hour. Night when they can, oh, the cooler hi, temperatures, baby. better vision, give them a much better chance of success oh, on their hunts. Goodness. Females like are more successful on the hunts than the males are. They don't have the size, weight, nor bulk the males do. Oh, they there's don't the female. Uh, they also help with their pride. Now, a pride. So, update we did not see baby Cora. I guess she went to bed already. We're here at what time is it right now? 4.50. 4.50. We, so we were riding the ride probably around like 4.30 ish. So then they even said that the elephants are like dusk and dawn animals that they're most active. So I have a feeling she went back to bed. She was probably out like in the morning, but we just have to come back to see her. It was a good safari though. Like the animals were very active that we did see. What do you think he's thinking? He's thinking, um, when's my dinner? So there we go, another one of these videos that I kind of have two days rolled into one, but two very fun things. I still have to make it back. That is on my plan for this week. I will be going over to Animal Kingdom because I want to try to see the baby. She looks so cute. I've seen clips of her and she just looks so fun. Like she's just so active and running around with her mom. Like it is so heartwarming. So I'm gonna make it over to Animal Kingdom this week for sure to try to see her. So the other thing that I wanted to talk about in this video and I'm gonna do some, at some point here we were saying I would love to do like an updated um, like home vlog and just kind of talk about some life things and just things happening behind the scenes. But I wanted to give an update on Mickey. Thank you all so much for your prayers for my cat, Mickey. He is doing so much better right now. We still, you know, are praying and hoping that his treatment continues to work. But when I tell you that he, it's like a night and day difference right now, we just feel so extremely blessed. When I tell you like we can feel how everyone's prayers truly helped because when we started asking for everyone, you know, both I put out here on YouTube what was happening, but just people in our personal life and asking everyone to pray for him, just the outpouring of love that we felt was so incredible. Um, you all know, like our pets are our babies, like they are our entire world. And when they're not feeling well, it's just, it, one of the most stressful things ever. So I'm gonna probably in that home vlog update, we'll go into more details, but the vet has been able to get Mickey on a antibiotic that is helping him. And the game plan, like unfortunately, the thing with the type of condition that he has right now, it's like these flare ups can continue to happen. And that's kind of what's been happening the past couple of months is that he'll finish an antibiotic, but then eventually it will come back um, that he'll have another respiratory flare up. So the game plan is gonna be to keep him on a antibiotic like long-term and try to do more like keep him on it for a couple months, maybe take a little break and then start it up again. That is going to be kind of his treatment plan. But also we have, when we were trying to get the, and, infection that he was dealing with cleared up. Um, so many people left incredible suggestions like the steroid shot. Um, thank you so much to everyone who suggested that. That was something that um, we brought up to his vet's attention and the vet said, oh yeah, he'd be a good candidate for that. That's something like we would not have known to ask for. I am just so grateful. Thank you for saying that because that was, I think something we noticed a huge difference helped him this time around his body to just be able to fight off the infection that much sooner. Um, also, a lot of people suggested the steam showers we immediately started doing that that night and that definitely gave him relief um so 
I just, I'm so grateful. I feel so touched to everyone who left comments. Like, thank you so much. You don't know how much it meant to myself, to my family. Like, it, you all know, like I can tell everybody, I have a lot of pet owners on my channel here and like, they're our babies. Like it's, they're our entire world. So the fact that you all cared so much about Mickey and I've been getting some comments and you know, messages about him and that's just, I, I appreciate it so, so much. But yeah, he's doing good. He's, um you know, still, recovering you know it's still going to be a process but we are feeling good it's really been the biggest blessing like we're just so grateful to god for um answered prayers has been the thing that we have really witnessed here so yeah wanted to go ahead and give that little update too before i sign off of this video more of a thorough update will come in the future but i just wanted to get that out there figured this was a good time while i was doing this little sit down from home kind of <laughs> combining these two videos into one but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and with that make today magical and i will see you soon in the next video bye